Hey beauties, welcome to Durismus Day 1. I decided to start off Durismus with a red and green look with that time of year palette from Gourmand Girls. I did go in with my Stila One Step Correct, my Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion Foundation, my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, of course my Kosas Bronzer, I mean it's my favorite, the Georgia Blush from Benefit, my Holy Grail Jouer Molten Glow, I primed my lids with my Glam Light Icing Eye Base and Buttercream, I have my Jouer lip treatment in pumpkin on my lips for now, and my brows are Juvia's Place and Ulta Beauty. I do have a discount code with Gourmand Girls. You can use code RIRI or RIRI10 for 10% off. Um, and that is actually an affiliate code now. Um, I'm going in first with a really small pencil brush into Snow Angel. Oh, can you tell how much I love this shade? Um, I'm going below the brow and I'm also going to do the inner corner just so my blending is a little bit more easy and a little bit more seamless for our next shade. Now I'm going into Evergreen with a slightly more fluffy brush and I'm going to go into the crease area and bring it slightly down. I'm going in just very softly and very light for now and then I will kind of build up the intensity as we go. As you can see, I'm going to start building this up now. I like to press and kind of stamp the pigment in place first, just so I can get the intensity and the level of depth that I want. Now I'm going to go into Cheer with the same exact brush and just start to buff and kind of feather the edges just a little bit. Then I'm going to layer a little bit more of the evergreen and kind of take it across almost all the way across the lid. Next, I'm going in with a flat definer brush and going into Cherry's Jubilee. I'm going to stamp this in place first, using it more as a liner to start with, and then you will see that I will buff that out lightly underneath the lash line. I'm going in with a fluffy brush, a clean one, to buff out my edges just to make sure everything is blended in seamlessly. Uh, picked the wrong shade. I meant to go in with the feels because it has a little bit of a green tinge to it, which you will see. And oh my gosh, is it stunning, especially up close. I will get up close at the end of the video. And I'm literally just pressing this into place all over, kind of pushing it almost up to the brow bone. And here is our finished look. I did finish off with my Milani Anti-Feathering Lip Pencil. I went in with my Glam Light Liquid Lipstick in Red Velvet. I used my ColourPop Raw Beauty Christie Spare Time Liner and my Gourmand Girls Mascara. And this is the finished look. We are of course getting up close and personal. The sparkles, you guys, in real life are divine. They're beautiful. Um, and this is super, super easy. Thank you, beauty, so much. I love you. Oh, wait, giveaway. One palette is for you guys. All the deets are gonna be in the description box. I love you, beauties.